Question 9. The endowment change of reaction can be calculated using these three endowment. Endowment change of formation, endowment change of combustion, and the bond energies. So we have uh, one reaction here. Ethane reacts with oxygen from methane, CO2, and H2O. So which answer could be used to calculate delta HR? So A cannot be used because this is not really a pure combustion of the ethane. When the uh, ethane burn, so it will form CO2 and H2O only. So since there is a methane here, so we cannot really use the combustion of ethane only. So this is not valid. Okay, so for B, uh, B is the answer. Why? Uh, if you want to understand and know better uh, why this expression can be used, uh, you can construct a very simple head cycle like this, then you know uh, answer is B. So because for this um, ethane, it can be burnt and form the CO2 and H2O. At the same time, the ethane here, sorry, the methane here, this one, CH4, it can be burned to form CO2 and H2O. So of course, CO2 and H2O here, it will not really uh, uh, react with oxygen anymore because they are stable. It's just the methane. So methane with O2 form the CO2 and H2O. So means, the left hand side and the right hand side, you put the same amount of oxygen because uh, it must be balanced. And after that, it will form the same amount of CO2 and H2O. So this is the head cycle that you need to construct in order to understand why the answer is B. So if let's say we put extra oxygen or we put oxygens here means now it's going to be 7O2 so with these two moles of ethane then it will be two times of the combustion enthalpy for the ethane so this one is this is for this one combustion of ethane and if we try to burn methane using the oxygens here it will form co2 and h2o of course this is the total amount of co2 and h2o from this side together with this right so because we need to balance it so when this methane get burned and it's two more so it's two times of delta hex c of the methane so which is this one So in order to calculate the delta HR, we can sum up this, this equal to this one. So which is this? Delta HR plus 2 delta XC of methane equal to 2 times of delta XC of the ethane. So therefore, for the delta HR, you'll get this. So you just bring this one to uh, right hand side, so you get this answer. So D is why answer is B. If you wonder uh, why C cannot be used, uh, this one is actually quite complicated. You need to know the structure and you need to know uh, the bondings that involved. Means the bonds that involved, CC bond, CH bond, OO double bond and so on. Okay, so we use uh, this uh, this one okay to get the actual expression in bond energy so this one is a reactance so two moles of the ethane so uh, ch bond uh, they are 
12 CH bond here means 12 times of the uh, this uh, CH bond energy and two times of the this uh, CZ bond so here also two times of the CZ bond okay after that there is a OO double bond three times so three times of the the this uh, OO double bond energy so this one is the reactant part okay which is uh, needs uh, to absorb energy so which is uh, positive for the product which is the methane co2 and h2o because uh, this one is a bond formation so it's exo is negative release energy so here there are four ch bond times two total eight ch bond energy and this one co double bond so two times two you get four four times of the co double bond energy okay minus four times of the oh bond energy so because here is two times two total is four so at the end you get this one the s expression for the bond energy is this not c so this is too simple right okay so this is how you uh, get the expression in bond energy uh, the d cannot be used because the is not really include the coefficient so because the coefficient is 2 so this delta hf into times 2 so d also cannot be used so answer confirm is b for number 10 which reaction has uh, an enthalpy change equal to the standard enthalpy change of formation of propane? A formation of propane, first you need to know is to form one mole of the compound. And second thing, you must know the state. So what is the state for this hydrocarbon? Uh, I can roughly tell you from this uh, the C1 to C4 which means from methane to butane so there will be in gases form gases form so after this C4 means C5 like pentane so it start to be liquid so which means the propane will be in gases form so D cannot be the answer so answer is just a or b or c and after that you need to know the formation of the uh, this uh, compound it need to form from its elements in this propane there is a uh, this carbon and hydrogens in there so therefore the elements must be carbon and hydrogen gas. So carbon under standard condition is solid and the hydrogen under standard condition of course is gas and it must be H2 not H. So this is the elements uh, in atom but under standard condition these hydrogens will be in H2. So therefore, answer is C. Carbon must be in solid, hydrogen must be in gas, and must be H2. And the product, propane, must be in gas. So that's why answer is C. Okay, that's all. Thank you.